It's truly magical when a game released more than two decades ago is completely remade and still manages to capture the essence of the initial experience. Resident Evil 2 is one such game. After a large number of installments and changes in gameplay over the years, it manages to deliver a survival hardy experience of the same caliber as the original in some new, gaudier modern digs. The story follows Leon Kennedy and Claire Redfield after a chance meeting has them both heading for Raccoon City for different reasons. Leon is a rookie cop arriving late for his first day on the job and Claire is a college student looking for her brother Chris. Little do they know, however, is that they are actually walking right into a massive zombie outbreak and will need to survive against numerous odds in order to escape Raccoon City. Just like the original game, you are able to play as either Leon or Claire and depending on which character you select, the story will play out with varying subplots. Finishing the campaign with one of the characters will unlock a second scenario in which you play with a second character. The second scenario essentially takes place at the same time but from a different perspective of the other character. The narrative is pretty enjoyable from either aspect as you learn about the Umbrella Corporation and their exploits. It's one of the great initial chapters in the Resident Evil series and really shows off the original monster as well. The gameplay no longer features the fixed camera and tank controls from the original game. Resident Evil 2 utilizes the over-the-shoulder gameplay first introduced in Resident Evil 4. The camera hugs you quite closely so you feel the view is still quite restricted to some extent. Despite this more action focused perspective, the game stays quite true to how eerie and quiet it originally was. This is emphasized by the fact that moving slowly or even standing still will make aiming much easier in order to take accurate shots. The game succeeds in retaining the slower pace from earlier Resident Evil titles while still making it feel right at home in the current generation of games. Many survival horror elements are still at play and it's it's just fantastic. Ammunition for your handgun initially seems to be in abundance, but as zombies make themselves known, each encounter will be a decision of fight or flight. This is especially true when you start encountering dreaded liquor enemies, because they are fast and strong and taking one on usually results in losing a little health and possibly a grenade or two and some ammunition. The slower moving zombie enemies can take a lot more damage now and despite how slow they are, they feel more threatening than they've ever been. You're also limited to a certain amount of space. Your inventory is comprised of blocks and generally items take up a single block. Managing your items is incredibly important as there are so many things to collect as you scour the environment. Ammo, healing items, key items, these are all the things you'll come across and unfortunately you can't grab everything you find. Thankfully storage upgrades can be found throughout the game allowing you to carry just a little bit more with you. Additionally you'll be able to store your things in an item box and access all of them from any safe rooms that have one of these boxes. If you do leave any items behind however it will be marked on the map for you to return to later. This goes for key items and any locked doors or door panels that may unlock part of a new area. Mr. X or the Tyrant makes his return to the game, this time featuring in both character stories just to add a new terrifying challenge to navigating the map, luring him to one side of the map and then circling back to an area in order to just have enough time to solve a puzzle is a downright nerve wracking experience. Also this wouldn't be a Resident Evil game a remake or not if there wasn't some replayability to go with it. Playing through the game with one character only to complete the second scenario with another is only a part of it since this can be done twice by completing the respective scenarios with the alternate character. Not only that but you also get in-game rewards such as select infinite ammo weapons if you complete the game with a certain rank. These new additions to your arsenal can make subsequent runs go much smoother. Aside from the main story, Capcom has also released free content in the form of the 4th Survivor, Tofu Survivor and the Ghost Survivors. 4th Survivor sees you taking control of Hunk, an umbrella operative trying to escape Raccoon City. Tofu Survivor is a parody of the 4th Survivor and sees you playing as a piece of tofu. And the Ghost Survivors consists of three what-if scenarios of three people who were unsuccessful in escaping the city. There's just so much content here to be enjoyed. Resident Evil 2 looks in. Incredible. It is one of the best looking games in the current generation and it really expands on what the RE engine achieved with Resident Evil 7. The lighting is especially superb when navigating dark areas. It looks realistic and your flashlight also just about pierces the darkness just enough to see a little bit in front of you. 
The sound is on par with the game's visual quality, the voice acting is a lot more fluid this time around, and the throaty rattles of the zombies as you catch their attention is something that you never get used to. Weapons being fired sound authentic and feel like there's true power behind each shot fired. And then there's Mr. X and his constant pursuits. This guy's thunderous footsteps echoing throughout the silent police department as he searches for you is what nightmares are made of. You never really know if he's about to find you and gun it straight for you. But the sound design for those footsteps, it's, it's amazing. It's terrifying, but it's amazing. The Resident Evil 2 remake is Excellent. Capcom have managed to bring the original game to the current generation and they've done it in just the right way, by retaining what made it so special and yet still being able to make it feel current. Utilizing the over the shoulder perspective and making it work for this game while still making it feel like a classic Resident Evil game is impressive. This is one of the best remakes I've ever played and it truly makes me hopeful for a remake of Resident Evil 3. If you enjoyed this review, please hit that like button, and if you are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. And if you got your hands on the Resident Evil 2, let me know what you thought of the game in the comments section down below. I'd love to know your thoughts and opinions. Thanks so much for watching, and see you next time!